William Lanlands Piers Plowman is one of the major poetic monuments of medieval England and of world literature. Probably it was composed between 1372 and 1389. His The Vision Concerning Piers Plowman exhibits a moral earnestness and energy which is brightened by his vivid glimpses of the lives of the poorest classes of 14th century England. The poem, a mix of theological allegory and social satire, concerns the narrator-slash-dreamer's quest for the true Christian life in the context of medieval Catholicism. This journey takes place within a series of dream visions, the dreamer seeks, among other things, the allegorical characters Dowell, Do Well, Do Bet, Do Better, and Do Best, Do Best. The poem begins in the Malvern Hills between Worcestershire and Herefordshire. A man named Will falls asleep and has a vision of a tower set upon a hill and a fortress in a deep valley, between these symbols of heaven and hell is a fair field full of folk, representing the world of mankind. A satirical account of different sections of society follows along with a dreamlike fable representing the king as a cat and his people as rodents. He describes satirically all the different classes of people he sees there, then a lady named Holy Church rebukes him for sleeping and explains the meaning of all he sees. Further characters, conscience, liar, reason and so on, enter the action, conscience finally persuades many of the people to turn away from the seven deadly sins and go in search of Saint Truth, but they need a guide. Piers, Peter, a simple plowman, appears and says that because of his common sense and clean conscience he knows the way and will show them if they help him plow his half acre. Some of the company help, but some shirk, and Piers becomes identified with Christ, trying to get men to work toward their own material relief from the current abuses of worldly power. In the last section of the poem, much less coherent than the rest, the dreamer goes on a rambling but unsuccessful summer long quest, aided by thought, wit, and study, in search of the men who are do well, do bet and do best. The first stanza of the poem is, In a summer season when soft was the sun, I clothed myself in a cloak as I shepherd were, Habit like a hermit's unholy in works, And went wide in the world wonders to hear. But on a May morning on Malvern Hills, a marvel befell me of fairy, methought. I was weary with wandering and went me to rest. Under a broad bank by a brook's side. And as I lay and leaned over and looked into the waters. I fell into a sleep for it sounded so merry 